Hello everyone, photographer Andre Designs here with a new retouch video. Alright, so today we're going to be selecting uh, a photo for retouching today. I did a behind the scene uh, video <coughs> for this photo shoot. Um, you should check it out. You can check in the description for um, the video. Alright, so I i'm now going to make some edits to one of these photos i'm not sure which one i'll be editing yet um the model name is latoya lightbody she does fashion blogs and stuff like that so you could check out her instagram page i believe it's lightbody um something i don't remember i'll put it on the screen or uh, you can check in the description all right, so I'm going to make a selection for one of these images. I think I like this one and I like this one. So I'm just going to make, uh, I'm going to see if I can edit at least two images um, in this video. I like this one. So I'm going to start with editing this photograph here. So I'm going to edit it in Photoshop. All right, good. So the first thing I'm going to do is frequency separation. So. I'm going to go over here where it says frequency separation 16 bit. My radius is going to be at 10. And I'm going to go over to my mixer brush. Uh, the mixer brush wetness is at 2%. And for the other um, options, I do not make any adjustment to them. I just leave it like that. And always ensure that this little um, brush here is clicked. So it, I think it automatically clears the brush once this is clicked. All right, so let's zoom into this image right now. All right, so as you can see, the image is not in focus 100%. So it's a bit sh um, soft. Nothing is wrong with that because these images will be uploaded to Instagram and even if it's going to be uploaded to a website, no one is not going to zoom in the images, so no need to worry about that. All right, I was using the Tamron, no, it wasn't the Tamron, I was using an Icon 85mm 1.8 lens and um, let me see what I was shooting at. camera date I believe it is good so I was shooting at 1.8 um, the shutter was 200 um, ISO was 5 was 50 basically so, alright so let's get to the editing alright so I'm gonna get my brush a little bit smaller by using the bracket this is the left bracket to get it smaller right bracket to get it bigger and I'm just going to just flatten the image a bit so I'm basically um, using the mixer brush and flatten the image so for example if, if for example here if you see where it um, all right, let me show you before and after so it flattens the image basically let's look at it before and after again oh not sure what happened just now but yeah all right so under the eye where it has a, a rise in here you're just going to mix it out to the side of the face right here I'm going to come under the neck, mix it out as well. So before and after, I'm going to do some more mixing. So the mixer brush basically, um, you know, it, it if, if the skin is not even, it flattens the area. So everything is actually in one. So look at the shoulder area right here. See? So it flattens the image. And when the image is flattened, you do not have to worry about it because you can use dodge and burn 
and you can you know create um what do they call it um depth or create um well create um i don't remember what they call it <laughs> but you'll see what i'm talking about when i get there and when you're using the mixer brush you try to you know stay in one area at a time so if you're gonna um mix the light area you stay in the light area if you're gonna mix the dark area you stay in the dark area there are times you can you know go from dark to bright just to flatten a certain section but you have to know what you're doing all right so i'm flattening this section as well let's look at it before and after for this one subtle nothing too much it's not really good at times to over edit your images you know you want it to look natural as possible and that's my aim for this image all right so that's done so far i'm going to go over to the high frequency layer and then go to i'm going to press s on my keyboard for the clone so i'm basically going to get rid of any acne pimples you know stuff like that not sure what's happening there but okay good under the eye right here I'm just gonna get rid of that black section there let's get rid get rid of this spot right here go over this side not sure what's happening there I'm gonna fix it I'll just undo everything just now all right my I'm gonna put the um, stamp to flow down to about 39% because it's not giving me what I want at 100% so that looks better right Right, that looks good I'm coming down a little bit more you see because the image is not sharp if I try to work at 100% in some section it will not um, it will not remove the area you know like how you want it to it would apply too much or less well too much let me undo right here. Let me undo everything. S for the clone stamp. Don't think I'll be able to edit to um to uh, photos, but I'll try. Cause I don't want this video to be too long. and when you're editing guys please don't rush if you rush you'll miss a lot of um, things and that's not going to be good for your images so I'm basically I'm sure most of you may know how to use a stamp tool I'm basically I'm um, sampling like hold on on alt sample by clicking on the area I want to sample from and paint so that's basically what I'm doing. All right, that's it so far. I'm just going to come down to the hand and get rid of these veins. All right, uh, a fun tip though. Um, when you're shooting models and you notice that they have a lot of... Um, veins in their hand what you could do is to have them put both hands in the air and you know for a little while maybe about uh, at, at 20 seconds for the blood to run back down in the hand and then once it's down you make the pose take the photo you'll have less vein to work with come 
him over this side. Alright, this looks good so far. Before and after. Not bad. Alright, so I'm going to um do some dodge and burning now. So I'm gonna go over here and close this up. Go over here to the dodge and burn. And then I'm going to give back so because I flattened the image I'm now going to shape it all right so um, let's do this I'm going to work with the dark um, with the dodging first no not dodging burning first I'm at 1% for the flow and I'm using the brush tool right now so I'm going to contour right here I'm going to do some contouring right here right here as well right under the bottom lip right here right here I'm gonna go to the dodge right now and just do some highlighting right here the cheek right under the nose under the chin Let's look at it before and after. So before, after. So it gives like, the face a dimension now, see? Alright. Alright. Um, I'm going to add some... Well, I'm going to go back to the burn layer. And then I'm going to add some burn to the dark. So basically... When you're doing dodge and burning, you you dodge the dark area and you I'm sorry, you dodge the light areas and you burn the dark areas. All right. Try not to add too much cuz you don't want it to look too fake, so you know. That's the reason why I stay at 1% cuz I don't want to add too much go back over to the dodge and just do the highlighted areas now let's look at the before and after for this before after if you think it's too much you can always go to the opacity section here and bring it down a little bit all right good so that's it for the dodge and burning the next step now is to color the image before I color the image though I'm gonna come down here and quick go to the um, oh you know what wait I'm just gonna go to um, brightness and contrast I'm just gonna put some contrast in it I'm gonna put it about uh, 10 for contrast look at it before and after for the contrast it's not a lot all right I'm going to blend out the image a little bit more so I'm gonna go back down to the um, frequency separation low frequency um, separation layer I'm just gonna blend out here a little bit go back to the mixer brush just blend out right here I think it's too pronounced I'm just gonna all right, good. That looks good. Right here as well. I think I can do some more clone stamp right here. Let me just zoom it up a little bit more and see what's happening. That looks good. All right, so the next thing now is to color the image. So if you've been watching my videos, you'll see I always use color balance. I'm going to go down to color balance, and I'm going to go to shadows. I'm going to put this at about 5. All right, that looks good. 
for the cyan I'm gonna say one all right and then I'm gonna control alt shift E and then control J and then control shift uh, a for the camera raw because I'm gonna color the image now let me look and I don't think I like the auto all right so the first thing I'm gonna do now is to go to my shadows and just make some adjustment to the shadows a little bit to see what it looks like I'm gonna bring in the shadows at about 8 minus 8 clarity at about plus 3 I'm gonna go over here to where the HSL adjustments are. I'm gonna work in the U area. And I'm going to work on the greens. I'm gonna change the color of the green background. So I could go with green if I want and I could just have this earth tone color. I'm just gonna adjust it like that. Just a little bit. I'm gonna change the orange. It's, goes, it's gonna be for the model skin. So I'm gonna make some adjustment to the skin a little bit. Uh, nah, put it at zero. Not gonna touch. Not gonna touch the skin at all. Let me go over to the saturation and I'm gonna play with the yellows. Bring up the yellow in the background. Orange a little bit. All right, good. So that's it for the coloring of the image. Let's look at the before and after for that. So before after all right the next step now i'm gonna control j to create a new layer the next thing now is to clean up the background clean up the garbage and stuff like that so i'm gonna use the patch tool um, so i'm gonna go over to the patch tool right here and i'm gonna start with what's in the background right here right here on the ground just some little you know things that I don't think will help the photo in any way alright you could also use content aware um, content aware works like this so if you select the area you could just hold on on shift and then backspace on your keyboard and then um, OK and it fix it so you can do it you know just about any way you'd like to do it. All right, so that's it for the retouch, actually. I'm finished. There's nothing else for me to do. I'm just going to merge everything right now. Good. And yeah, that's it, basically. <laughs> All right, more videos coming soon, guys. More behind the scenes. If you want to see more videos, you can just um, comment in the uh, comment area. Tell me what type of videos you want to see. Remember to subscribe, share uh, my videos, like, turn on the notification bell so each time I upload a new video, you will be notified. Follow me on Instagram as well at Andre Designs and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you guys for watching. Bye bye.